Let's get ready to rumble. Mike Tyson and Spike Lee have joined forces to hit the great white way with a one-two punch. So what happens when boxing and Broadway get into the ring together? We're here at the Longacre Theater to check out the one-man show that's sure to be a knockout. If someone said to me six months ago, you're going to be producing a show with uh, Spike Lee and Mike Tyson, I might say, mm, maybe think again. But I have to tell you something. About a month ago, I got a call from Spike Lee from Brazil. I was on the phone and I said, you know, I don't think he's calling to find out what the weather is. Calls me or, up. or for Yankee tickets. Yeah, or Yankee tickets. <laughs> he calls me up, he says, Mike's got a show in Vegas, we gotta see it, this could be something really cool. We had a one week, six day run in um, Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. We sold out every night. It was um, a dynamic collection of stories that most of the people in the sports world or the world that know about my life, Mike Tyson know about, but they didn't know the underlining story about them and stuff. It's about me being on stage and being pretty raw, not necessarily raw in um, a, a, a vulgar sense where I'm cursing and telling you guys the filthier and filthier is when I'm just telling you um, I'm just naked and I'm very vulnerable and I'm just telling you who I am and where I'm from and how this happened and how I lose all this damn money and how I had all these children and how I get go to prison and you know you know what happened guys right? This is about redemption. This is about human character. This is about uh, where you can change stuff. You can turn things around. And, and it, it, you know, I saw that I said, it, 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 I thought this automatically, you know, it, it, it takes courage to get in the ring. What takes courage to get on the stage? Denzel's not playing Mike. It's not Sam Jackson. It's Mike Tyson. I never in a hundred years thought that I would be um, performing on stage and stuff um, until my wife um, said, we can do this stuff. And I said, yeah, I agree, we can do this stuff. And here we are. I'll be nervous. I'll, you know, of course you'll be afraid, you know, because in order to show courage, you have to have fear, you know. And um, I'm going to show a lot of courage because I'm going to come out here and I'm going to give you guys a great show. This is just what I do. This is just what I, I believe I was born to do, is entertain people. I just, I just, um, it's just so ironic that the first person that got to grasp me was the guy that was involved with fighters. But I still entertained you as a fighter. But this is just what I want to do. I like entertaining people. It seems so far-fetched because when you have the pre-notions of a fighter and the kind of personality that I was, you don't see me as even being people friendly, but this is just what I want to do. And I don't know if I'm people friendly, but I know I want to entertain them.